Hello, 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 good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you may be. Let me just sort out this volume in the background that caught me out. There we go. Well, hello, how are we there? Good evening, Mr. Bertrand, how are you? A couple of people there on the chat. Yes, you need to keep me occupied on the chat because you may have noticed that I'm, I'm without partner in crime this evening. I'm on my own. Yes. He has uh, abandoned me. He's off somewhere. Yes, you're right. Someone is missing. The um, Mr. Sturman is currently in Ghana. We passed past each other in flights. I was on my way back from Israel at a Qualitex event there, which was excellent, hosted by our distributor in Israel, Happiness. Um, and then Keith was on the way out, on his way to Africa there to uh, do some retail training. So he is uh, very, very gamefully occupied. Good evening, Rachel, or good afternoon for you guys there as well. So yes, yeah, so a show of my own tonight. It's quiet in the studio today. I wonder why. Had to make my own cup of tea as well. So what are we going to be doing on this week's show? I'm going to be covering some new products because the quarter three products are here. If you haven't seen them yet on Qualitex.com, you have to check them out. Not yet, though. Wait, wait, wait. Wait till after the show, okay? Because I'm going to talk about them a little bit because we've had some to play with here in the Q Corner office. So I've been doing that this week and doing some little bit of um, testing out, seeing how they work for us, what sort of designs we can do with them. And we've had some very good reactions so far, so very excited and pleased that they are here and we can finally get our hands on them, so we're very happy about that. So, let me just jump on over to this one. So these are the things that are going on on the Qualitex.com website. I love these banners, absolutely love them. These animations there are superb, love them to bits. Ah, ooh, who's seen Toy Story 4? I have, and I thought it was very good. Anybody else seen it? Let me know what you think of it. But I certainly like the new Toy Story 4 bubble. Um, that one's a very good one for us. We do a lot of designs in our store that are based around the 22-inch message bubble. And the new Toy Story one is a great addition to the lineup as well. So it's very um, now as well. It's perfect. Yes, we've got some yeses there on the chat as well. Superb. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's perfect. It just fits into our current designs. Didn't need to do anything special with it. It fitted in perfectly. And that's great for us. We means we've got a price point. We've got that design ready to roll. So that was really good. But obviously, it being the new design, worked for us perfectly. So let's have a look as well. Uh, what have we got on? Oh, yes. So the first design that uh, I had a look at, I need to jump on over to this one here. And we'll just nip over to the other view there so you can see the designs that we've been working on. Hi, I'm Nicole Gregg. Hi, I'm Chris Adamo. Hi, I'm Tina Junter and you're watching Q Corner. And you're watching Q Corner. And you're watching Q Corner. Perfect introduction there from our Australian friends there. Gave me a little bit of chance there to have a sip of my tea. Which is very hot. I think it might stay hot throughout this episode. I think our kettle is getting warmer. So, let's see. What's new? Quarter 3, 2019. I love that we get new products four times a year. It's awesome. So, the first one, which I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. We had to go straight to this one because it is all about the chrome. We thought we'd put the chrome happy dance on there as well. We might even have some audio on that one as well. Let me have a little look because we all want to hear Keith singing because he's not here in the studio. I just need to... Because it's all about... Because it's all about the chrome. About the chrome. No trouble. Yes, because we couldn't have it in the studio, I thought we'd have it all about the chrome dance. And it's not my fault that the end of the video finished on that still. Sorry, Keith, it wasn't my fault. Should have been here. Yes, I agree. 
Air Dares there, I love it too. This particular foil there that's on the top, that uh, gold champagne bottle, is one of my favourites out of the quarter three products. There's lots of good ones, there's lots of great ones, but that one is my, my favourite, it really is. It's perfect colours, it's a great design we already use in the traditional colours of the green champagne bottle, but also the pink bubbly one as well, love that, but the gold is fantastic. And this one is just blank canvas, ready to be personalised, so it can be used for any and all events, no problems at all. Absolutely loved it. Uh, this one teaming up with the already released 7 inch chrome gold absolutely perfect and then we've got the extra new uh, 24 inch deco bubble on the base there as well so this is the gold confetti dots um, this one when I first saw the image I actually thought it was a bit more gold the dots but when I took it out of the packet it wasn't as gold as I thought and I was like oh I don't know I wasn't expecting this however once uh, we played with it and put the design together the colours on that bubble are spectacular they coordinate beautifully with that foil and just allow us to do so much with it as well uh, he isn't right in the head yes you're right Pamela yes not my eyes yes him and his happy dance has been stuck in my head for a very long time now. Uh, so this one here, we've got the personalization on there with some vinyl and it has been attached onto the top of the bubble and we've got the pearl white and chrome gold base. This design, we did it, put it in our shop, having a bit of a play around with it and we've already sold on the day that it went out. We sold two of them straight away without even trying It's brilliant. It's just one of those designs that captures people straight away. And what's great? no helium this is all air filled so at no cost to us and those guys that are experiencing extreme shortages you can do this without any helium it's perfectly stable it's super strong and um, the connection method that i've used to join the foil onto the bubble is a connection method we use all the time um, and i'll actually show that in the show today as well for those guys who um, haven't seen it or haven't done it or just maybe just want to see Another way of doing a connection method between two different, either foil or bubble, or foil to foil, or bubble to bubble. Um, so yes, that's the gold confetti dots, the 24 inch. Um, love this one, it's great, it's a winner already for me. Um, but as I said, the golden bubbly wine bottle, this is my absolute favourite. It's just the perfect platform for personalisation, brilliant colours on it. It's just great for so many reasons, we can do so many different styles of events with this one. It's perfect. Um, so we've got that one in that design uh, and then we've also used, obviously this isn't a quarter three release but I have to mention it because it's the seven inch chrome gold. What a perfect size. This is a, a really good size balloon to use in this one for a gumball because we've got them a little bit bigger but super round and it just looks spectacular. They almost don't even look like a balloon in there as well so it's uh, just really good reactions from that so really happy with the way that came out uh, and as I said we sold two on the first day. We weren't even trying so we like that. What have you got next? Ah okay just playing around again on the air filled theme um, very much a hot topic for, for us and many people out there in balloon world so this is using the um, elegant greenery this is not a quarter three release however we've teamed it up with one of the new uh, baptism christening and communion 11 inch latex so on the inside of that one you'll see there's an 11 inch latex we have it as a double bubble so that's air filled and air filled in both uh, we have a subtle green for the latex in the collar there and that's a lime green so it's a five inch lime green inside a five inch white and it just tones it down a little bit just to make it coordinate a little bit more with that bubble that we're using great selection of 11 inch there uh, for us here in the uk that on your christian one is perfect for us it has that really classic beautiful look with the little hint of religion in there as well which people are looking for we have that fun boy and girl christening print from Qualtex which is great a very good seller for us but people are often looking for something a little bit um, more religious and that and that's great and we have that now so it's a perfect addition for us this one uh, then we have the on your baptism and first communion uh, for us we don't do too many of those but I know many areas around the world that they are absolutely perfect and if, if they're anything like us the styling is just an absolute winner um, there is some coordinating foil with this as well so you can actually do and expand the decor that you're doing now with the 
the coordinated designs. One of the many, many, many reasons we love the Qualitex products is because they have that coordination between those three product lines. We have the latex, we have the foil, we have the bubble, and they're all beautifully coordinated. So it just makes our day really easy. Love it, love it every time. And this one now, we do a lot of christenings. Lovely lineup for us, this one, so that's a nice. So thank you, Qualitex, for that one. Right, what else do we have? Ah, something a little bit fruity. So this one is uh, just having a little bit of fun. Again, trying to push down that air-filled route. Um, this one was kind of just given some little ideas and food for thought as to how to do some connections and how to build our base up, giving something a little bit different, but sol solidly trying to stay air-filled only. So this one here with the three foils, connection method is the same as the deco bubble to the foil champagne bottle. So I will show that, so if you don't know what that is, I can show that. Um, but solidly air-filled, no helium at all, very robust, very flexible, easy for customers to take away. So it's really good decor that you can sell and just let people take. That's great for us because we don't like to do too many deliveries. Or if you're delivering it yourself, that's fine. It just it means it's more durable, more flexible for you to do. Um, who, yes, it is hard to pick a, a favourite one, although I have, Rachel, I have picked my favourite. There, just reading through the chat messages. The champagne bottle is my favourite. Love them all, but that's my favourite. Um, so this one, in this particular design, um, we use the prickly heart seeds latex. We have the, the red one and the green one. They come um, individually, so they don't come in a mixed bag. They're separate. Um, there's a bag of red ones available and a bag of green ones available. Um, really like it it's a nice one to to join in with the fruit but it's just a different little style of heart on there as well so that's pretty cool and teamed up with the new foils they are very very nice very vibrant colors on these foils as well and uh, we have the 18 inch round foil and that is with the sliced lemon and then we have its counterpart the sliced lime in that range as well there's also a watermelon um, which is pretty cool but I want to keep it the three because the odd number look better on the base I did have a play around see if I can get the watermelon in, in there but I stuck with just the two lemons and we threw a happy birthday uh, birthday fruits in there just to give it that message because you really want your design to say what it is you know so this one's a happy birthday so let's say it loud and proud so that was a really nice design uh, we were happy with that one uh, oh, this one, love this one. Um, we have our piñata. We already had the Fiesta Latex and the, 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 the Mexican hat. Great, good bit of fun. Nice to personalise them as well, that hat. You put someone's name on there, pretty cool. Um, but the new um, Rainbow Piñata is, is, is great. And that, for me, just set the tone for the, for the column. We had all the colours there in the piñata itself um, and I've just ran those through there playing around with it so we've got the colour sequence that runs through the column that's just coordinating straight away with that foil there so you don't really need to do too much you know we're not spending too much time designing we're just taking our design cues from those amazing guys in the design team there over at Qualitex and they've done that they've matched those colours beautifully and they just work perfect. Oh, we're getting hi from Keith there, take it. He's on the chat. Thanks for joining us in sunny Ghana there. Um, but yeah, this particular design, uh, really good reactions from people in store. And we're not, we're not inventing this. This is just using the colours in that piñata. And uh, it just worked perfectly for us. Again, brilliant kind of signage on the side there that we can do some personalisation with. Good way to add, you know, you know, someone's name and all that kind of stuff about the birthday and the event, which is pretty cool. Again, personalization, you know our thoughts on this. We've said it time and time again. If you can personalize it, if you can put someone's name on it, the event details, all that kind of stuff, people love it. It's your unique selling point. It's your the reason that people come into your store. So we're not talking about price, we're talking about service and quality. So then that way we just get repeat customers time and time again. So uh, any designs that Qualitex bring out that gives us the ease of possibilities for personalization, then you've got our vote. Um, so that's the, the new designs that we've been playing with. There is a lot more though. If you check out Qualitex.com, don't forget, you can't go wrong with Qualitex.com. Um, if you select, it's actually on the, the front page there, there's a quarter three new products. 
click that and it'll actually filter all of the Qualitex products um, and show you the new quarter three lineup. And what's awesome about that, you, you don't want to kind of un underestimate its power. You select any of those new products into it and then you can see related products so you can see the coordinates and also you get to see some of the new designs that are already made so there's designs on there that you can show your customers straight away which is pretty awesome so you can be selling things before you've even had a chance to do anything with them so there's some cool designs to be getting started with but obviously have a play around yourself because i'm sure people's imagination will run wild with some of the new ones because some really good stuff out there but I think out of all of them, my favourite design, let me find it. I did like that one. Really good table centrepiece, all air filled. But this one has to be my favourite design. It's not my favourite fall, but it's got my favourite design there as well. So very, very happy with that. Hello to South Africa. Hello to Scotland. And many more there in the chat. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it because it is quite in the office today. Right, what else have we got for you? Let's jump into, let's see where we are. We'll have this. Ah, okay, let's... Um, I want to come on to here. Hi, I'm Anthony Lena, and you're watching Q Corner. Thanks, Anthony. Awesome as ever. So, back in the main studio, let me just uh, move in a little bit here. So, I'm going to show you a couple of the techniques that we've used in those designs. Okay, I know some people might have seen it before, but we like to share because that's what we do. So, the first one is the connection method between two balloons. So, this could be either... Uh, a, you know, a balloon, um, like a foil balloon, or a bubble balloon, or indeed two foil balloons. The method works the same for both. Let me just bring you in a bit closer so you can see me better. So what we're going to need for this is a balloon. So I'm going to use the new sliced lemon, 18 inch. Yes, Keith, I'm sure you are missing your cuppa. I have mine. And then oh, our faithful friend, the balloon stretchy tape. So this is the click click balloon stretchy tape so this is the single sided one but this one is um, extremely strong has very good adhesion and specifically designed for balloons and it works exceptionally well with the finish that is on a Qualitex foil balloon and bubbles as well so for this we need a piece of this so let me get a piece of this uh, tape I'm going to use this to tape onto the foil and then I'm going to take a 260Q so I have an uninflated 260Q balloon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch out all the air so this is the the sealed end so I'm going to hold on to the top of that and with my finger and thumb I'm going to slide and squeeze out all of the air that was in this uninflated balloon keeping my fingers squeezed flat so no air gets back in this balloon I'm going to tie it to seal it so now this 260q is completely flat I've squeezed out all the air and tied it so no air goes back into it so it's very strong it's very durable if you leave the air in which some people do you'll probably find that you end up with some air bubbles so as you tie it it's a little bit harder to tie and also those bubbles are prone to popping so they pop very easily because they're under very high pressure as we tie that knot now the problem with that is that this balloon then shreds and tears so it's not doing the job that we want it to do. So it's a simple little tip but stretch out that air, keep it sealed, tie the end so no air goes back into it. So it gives us a very strong connection point. And all we're going to do is pick a point where we want to join onto it. So it may be the top, it may be offset to the side, it could be on the front. It doesn't really matter, the tape will stick to, to anywhere on this. What's important though is to try not to touch the adhesive backing of this tape with your fingers whether it's some grease on your fingers or just some dust off using handling 11 inch latex you tend to get a little bit of dust on your fingers that's going to take away any of the adhesion on it as well so if you have used this before and you haven't any issues with it it's normally down to the fact that you've you've kind of covered over that adhesive with some other substance that's been on your fingers so what we do is we 
peel back the backing just halfway. So do that on both sides. It comes in two halves for easy opening of this tape. By doing it halfway, you've got something to get a hold of. I'm holding the bit with the backing on, not the exposed piece of tape. That means I can handle it without ruining the tape. And all we're going to do is place, I'm going to put mine across the top here. So I'm going to place my 260Q across along the seam and then I put the tape sideways. The reason we do this, we get a better and stronger surface area for that tape to go onto. I push the tape down one side, the 260Q has gone underneath it, and then with the other side where the, the backing is halfway exposed already, we just pull them off as a tab and then it allows the other side of that tape to go down. Now what we can do because it's um, on the, the, the kind of the, the squishy bit of the foil, we can just squeeze that and just help push it down by applying a little bit of pressure and a little bit of heat. The, the little bit of heat that you apply helps that tape to cure. The longer you leave it, the better it's going to get as well. So if you've got something that's super critical, put the tape on and allow it to, to dry, to cure for a little bit before you start to use it, okay? But it does, and it will instantly stick really, really well. Um, the colder it is, though, the more heat that you may need to put into that product to make sure that it sticks well onto that balloon. The next balloon now, we could either do this in where we take this balloon and create a loop and then just tape it directly to the other side. That's one way of doing it. Um, that works well and if we were just doing a connection between two set points, we like that method. However, if you're doing something with the valve, it makes it a little bit trickier. So for this one, we'll do it as a separate balloon for ease. 260Q. Now these are full 260Qs, but you don't need a full 260Q. We will typically use a scrap, something like a half or a third of a 260Q, and that will do this job very well. Let me move that to there. Thank you, Keith Seat. We should make use of your space. I'm going to take this 260Q and I'm going to lay it halfway. So this is the valve, and I'm going to place that 260Q halfway down the valve. Then I can fold the valve over and we roll it. It's like a flat roll and it goes all the way to the base of this foil. Now the two sides we're going to squeeze together. We're going to fold it, fold it round and then keeping the pressure on. So use one hand to hold the pressure to hold the two sides together. And then with my other hand, we can tie a knot. The first knot's going to pull the two sides neatly together. And then the second knot is going to lock that into position. Okay? So that gives us a very clean connection, but it also gives us an elasticated tying point as well. So the benefit to an elasticated tying point is you can apply some pressure to it and those two balloons will pull together. They'll always try to pull together, which is great. But also as the customer moves this design, takes it, puts it in the car and does whatever they're going to do with it, it can bend and flex. We're creating a hinge here. Because we could indeed just tape the two sides together. And that'd be a very strong connection. But it doesn't have the flexibility. So if a customer forces it, it's got no give. It's just going to come apart on us. So I'm going to tape my two sides. And where those two 60 cues are, just tie them together. Nothing special, just tie them and then chop off the excess. So now we have a very extremely flexible connection. So there's no force being applied to this balloon whatsoever. Completely flexible. So this is great. It's a joint. Okay? So it means it can go in any direction and it's also got a lot of stretch in there as well. Now, we don't have any stability with this one. So the design that I did with the, the fruits, so that's uh, this one here, you can see we've got a connection between the two, but we've got that filled. We've hid the mechanics of that connection with some five inch latex. So I have that here. So that's four five inch white balloons, uh, size to approximately three inches, depending on the design, depends on what size you want to do them to, but a connection like this would easily accommodate something between three and three and a half inches between the gap. If you needed to be bigger or smaller, you can adjust that um, connection to suit. But all we're going to do is take those balloons, separate them out, and stretch them over the 
joint but to make sure they don't come out I'm going to twist these two front ones and lock them into position so that stops my balloon coming apart so you can see though that it's got structure now but I've still got all the flexibility in the world so my customer picking this up isn't going to give it an issue push it into the car it'll fix itself when they get it out and take it home so very good connection that we use in a lot of our designs so this one we would use for the design which we did for the freestanding fruity air fill design and then we also used it for our chrome um, gold base with the bubble and the bottle on the top as well so that was all done with this connection method so super durable super strong uh, really good way for us to be confident with our designs going out uh, and knowing they're not going to fall apart on us so that's one of the techniques that um, we used um, oh one of the ones that I didn't show which I am going to show because I love it is this one this is a 11 inch chrome gold inside the new diamond clear Minnie Mouse silhouette. It's a beautiful latex and being diamond clear we can do so much with it so it was just shouting it was saying Dominic Dominic put inside there an 11 inch chrome gold please so we did. Topped it off there with one of our 260Q uh, flowers so this is actually one 260Q uh, balloon starting off with five loops there and the rest of it the remainder is a stem so that's uh, a really nice just fun little item giveaways or little things that you can do for party packages um, but that particular balloon was just screaming out to have that done so if you want to know how that's done check out one of our previous videos and um, we have that in there how to make a flower um, and I believe you are doing it with chrome as well because we can't help ourselves because it's so nice um, and then the last thing that I want to share with you before we go on to Mr Q's spinner winner is the deco bubble so this is the 24 inch um, deco bubble and inside we have 7 inch chrome gold so we would do these gumballs traditionally with 5 inch balloons you can do it with 11 inch but for the scale the 24 inch deco bubble really suits having the 5 inch balloons in there but for this one the chrome gold was perfect and that 7 inch just lent itself so well so I have a hand pump for this because this is all air filled so we take our deco bubble and we unfold it and like anything um, where we're doing kind of a balloon inside a balloon we just need to make a little bit of room so we take the hand pump and we add a little bit of air in so this is just to make it easier to to move around and allow the 7 inch balloons to inflate. And then we take a balloon straw or something like a chopstick or something to, to that end. You just don't want it to be too sharp on the end. Yes, Keith, <laughs> old purple hand pump, vintage twister device. It's a classic. It is. However, a good point on this one is uh, in our business now, in our store, we use the new Qualitex two-way lime green hand pumps. Now, what is fantastic about that is the anti-roll technology it has. It has a particular shaped top, so when you put it on the desk, it doesn't roll off, unlike the vintage purple one does. Also, as well, the chamber size on the new one is a little bit larger, so it does change the sizing that you do. So for this particular balloon if i was using the the new lime green hand pump i would do five hand pump strokes okay so what i would do is put my hand pump into the chrome seven inch and i would do five and we count it as one two three four five okay then we take the neck of the chrome stretch it and you can squeeze this balloon here now as well to make it nice and round any extra latex we want to pull away from that balloon so it doesn't go soft on us we don't want it to be misshapen take this neck and very carefully we want to tie that latex without trapping it onto the neck of the deco bubble tie it and cinch that knot just push it back into that balloon so it locks that balloon really tight and the reason we do that is we're going to trim off 
the excess latex to maintain the round look of that balloon on the inside okay if you don't pull that knot down really tight the chance of it coming undone once you've cut that neck off is quite high so really pull that knot down first what's that question there any metallic in the decor or just gold color you can use any metallic balloon you like you really can uh, we do five inch metallic colors across the board metallics and pearls no problem the gold though the new seven inch chrome which is in a range of the colors um the same colors that are available with the mauve the blue um and the the green gold and silver and the purple are all available and will be available in the seven inch as well so it's just a really nice finish so it, it for me it's a, a premium product in comparison to your standard metallics um so that's why we opted for it on this one because it coordinated absolutely beautifully with the rest of this design um, so for this particular design that we did, we put in, I believe it was 12 in total um, of the 7 inch. You can put in as many or as little as you like. Um, you do get to a point when this uninflated deco bubble will only allow you to put so many in, depending on what size you do them to. So that's kind of where your limit is. But I'm going to pretend I filled this up and I'm happy. Um, what I'm going to do is take one more balloon and place that inside the neck of the deco bubble. Because if you've tried to seal a deco bubble before, you'll know, because it's got no valve, you want to make sure that it's, it's really well sealed. Um, so what we're going to do is put one uninflated balloon in there and then inflate the outside deco bubble. So we'd inflate it. You want to chat amongst yourselves, that's fine. But I think we need to see it finished. I'm looking at the seams on the side because with the deco bubble, we want to stretch this balloon. This balloon will stretch and stretch. It will go past where you need it to be, but we need to take it just to the seams because that will maintain the correct look, the correct scale, and also won't stretch the print. So I'm just watching the side. Once I'm happy that I've taken the seams out, take my hand pump out of the deco bubble, transfer it over to that latex on the inside. Now inflate that. I'm going to count the strokes as well because I want to make it about the same size. So you can see, let me turn it that way, I've got one seven inch chrome gold in the base there. And what that allows me to do is take the neck of the chrome gold, put a little spin in that bubble, and then I can tie the neck of the chrome gold. Now that gives me something to help seal the deco bubble with. So that's really good for us. It's like a little cork in there, perfect. It's also got a temporary knot in now, which helps stop the air coming out whilst we tie it properly. Once we've done that, we can take a 260Q and again, stretch that air out of it, tie it off. And what we do with this one is we wrap that around underneath the knot, keeping it nice and tight. This is the point of failure on a Decker bubble. It's the bit that we are involved in. It's not Qualitex, it's us. So we tie that really tight. If you're not happy, wrap it around again. You want to bind this around to make sure that it is super sealed. And then we tie it. And that gives us a very good seal. And it also now gives us a connection point that we can use to tie this bubble into the base. So that works very well for us. So this is just the same as we, want, we did in the design. Only difference is I've only put three in there as opposed to the 12. So yes, very happy with that one. So that's good. Let me move that one out the way. Move my scissors. And then very importantly, have a sip of my tea. So, are we liking the new Quarter 3 designs? I am, so thank you Qualitex. Much appreciated. Well done to the designers there. So, that's about it for today. We just have one more thing, and I hope you are listening, because I have a question for you. Because that takes us into, very nicely, into Mr Q's Spinner Winner. So, who's ready? 
I am. We're here. We're back. Mr. Q's spinner winner is here. Stay up straight, buddy. He's there. Okay, so this week, fingers crossed, because you don't have a choice this week. It's not me or Keith, or Keith and me. It's me. You've got me. I think I'm on the winning streak. I'm not sure. I can't remember now. But anyway, we'll say it was me. So, we have our star prize still there, our premium uh, balloon inflator, so thank you premium for supplying that. We seem to have had it in the office for too long though. We've given out socks, we've given out pens, we've given out key rings, but our star prize hasn't gone. That means you guys could win it. Someone could win it today. And I would like you to win it today when Keith's not here. Yeah! Okay, so, question question for you guys I hope you are listening is out of the new Qualitex Q3 products which one is my favorite so you have the standard Q corner minute to decide to see if you know and get that there in the chat so pop it in the chat if you think you know don't worry Key. you haven't missed everything you can watch it on the rerun it's there for you forever yay no Q corner you can't play Keith yes you do need an inflator hand inflators are great but electric air inflators by premium are even better so let's have a look see on the chat let's see what we've got in here Let me see if I can get some messages. About halfway there. Just bringing up my cue. Right. We've got one there. Let me add that to the randomizer. I'm liking the fact that we've got some people here in the chat with profile pictures. Clearly, we're listening. Let's have a look. How are we doing? We'll see about 20 more seconds once I get a few more people added. Come back, Keith, all's forgiven. Try and do both jobs. <laughs> so I'm saying there, I was concentrating too much to notice. I only said it about 14 times. <laughs> You to the queue, well done. Uh, so it's about all of them. Yeah, not 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 bad. Close. Um, what else we got? Right. So let me add you. Right. We'll say times up. So we'll lock it in there, and then I shall see who we've got in the queue. Let me make sure. Look, bottle Luke. Not you, buddy. Not you. <laughs> and that one. Just trying to get all the right answers in. Don't want to miss anybody. Who remembered? Let's have a look. One more page. And we've got those two. Okay, right. Let's have a look. So. We've got a good few people in our queue. So thank you very much for participating and listening. That's very good. So let me, I need to spin this and update it. And then we'll see there. So 
I have to press my button to randomize and I'll be pressing this, make sure we've got the right one on. So in three, two, one, who have we got? Who is it picked? We have a Jackie Young. Hi Jackie, I know Jackie. Champagne bottle indeed, that was my very favourite. So well done Jackie. So, all that remains Jackie is, as you don't have the choice of myself or Keith, you have me or me. I'd say that's good. That's a good thing. Let me do this other way. So, we need to know if you would like it to go fast or slow. You've got the time it takes for me to sip a cup of tea to decide if you want to go fast or slow. Good answer, Jackie. Fast. So, are we ready? I hope you are, because I am. I've been practicing this for like at least five minutes today. So, three, two, one. Oh, it felt good. It felt like you're going to win something. I don't know what, but something. Da -da -da -da. Oh, what have we got? Oh, we've got a key ring. Not quite the inflator, although we were very close. I'll give it that. But well done, Jackie. Please contact us via the Mr. Q page. Send a message there and we shall get your prize out to you. So just send us a little message. We'll uh, catch up with you, get your address, and we'll get that in the post for you from the Mr. Q Spinner Winner Studio. Other than that, thank you for joining me. Sorry that you missed Keith. Normal service shall be resumed soon, we hope. But other than that, we will see you on the next show. So thanks for joining us. See you soon.